all right youtube so i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna go, i'm gonna show you guys basically the proper way the um the solar batteries are supposed to be wired i'm not gonna take off everything i took off all the disconnects and all the meters this this is mainly for the um the people in solar the techs in solar and the battery installers that already understand what's going on so i ain't got to take off the dead fronts and shit but yeah this is the educational video for those people that need help wiring the batteries properly because i know a lot of people do so look i'm gonna just take you guys from the main panel right you got your pv breaker <clears throat> you're gonna follow your pv breaker which is coming up you're gonna follow your pv breaker all the way down to the disconnect this is the utility disconnect so we're starting at the utility disconnect well the second part is the utility disconnect we started at the main panel now we're at the utility disconnect all right so the breaker needs to be wired to the top of the disconnect all right you see red black it's wired to the top you can follow this wire it's wired to the top now we come to the bottom of the disconnect this bottom of the disconnect is going to follow up to the bottom of the meter. Booyah. Perfect. Now that's how you properly for not even not even for batteries, but just in general, when you're wiring, you're disconnecting your meter to your panel. This is going to be the way that it connects every time. So you don't fail inspections like this job did. But <clears throat> anyways, so from there, you have the top of your meter going boop, boop, toosh down into the bus bar but it goes into the critical loads which is this your combiner panel which has your strings on it let me open it i'll just open it for you guys okay it has a little bit more than strings on it but you know this is where your strings are supposed to be but it looks like they're running some of the um major things off of the critical load so that's pretty dope So your strings are not going to be in there. I lied. For this type of system, because uh, we, with my job, we use multiple different inverters. This is a Solar Edge. I should have started with that. Looks like an LG battery over there. So this is a Solar Edge system with an LG battery. So this combiner panel is the critical loads panel for the backup battery. So all the, all these breakers, all these breakers right here bathroom office garage fridge living room bed family room bed hall laundry garage kitchen gfi those are all running off the battery for sure for sure now okay we travel our way to the top of here so we're at our critical loads this is wired incorrectly these wires should be landing on the top so the wires coming from the critical loads should be landing on the top and then we should be going to the bottom <clears throat> we go from this is a whole new wire but we go from the bottom of the disconnect i mean the bottom of the meter to the bottom of the disconnect and the top of this disconnect is basically being run from the battery the batteries are going down there so the batteries are coming up here to the top I should have started this way but it's all good I'll, I'll reverse it come back this way so the batteries are over there right the battery comes down there's the battery bow, bow, bow. the battery comes in right here gets bow landed on the top and every time you're going from a disconnect to the top of a meter you're always landing from the bottom to bottom so you're coming from the bottom of the meter I mean the bottom of the disconnect to the bottom of the meter so I gotta switch this right here for this job these people failed but yeah I was just doing a quick little video for you guys to show you how to wire this properly so I'm gonna do what I do put this wire together and yeah go on to the next job thank you guys for listening hopefully this makes me get a little bit more views on my page and yeah let's go